Hello guys, so as you remember in the last video uh, we made a scene, applied all the sh shaders and stuff uh, and uh, in this scene what we'll be doing is applying some colors so hit M to open the material editor or hit this button here and as you can see these are materials uh, now what we're gonna do is actually select a standard one standard material uh, and I forgot to mention last video, make sure that your rendering uh, renderer is set in mental ray. We can do that, hit render setup and uh, just scroll down, sign renderer, this box and uh, just select mental ray. So, um, now I've got standard shader, uh, what I'm going to do is same, so you can see better 3 by 3 by 2 And as you can see here's our shader. Uh, we're going to change from blin to multi-layer. And uh, this level is going to be about uh, 30. Glossiness about 90, maybe. No. 40. Uh, I'm just playing a little bit with it. Uh, let's go with 90 on the level and uh, about 30 on the glossiness. For seconds, we're going to go about 30 on the level. And uh, about 10 on glossiness, so we got some nice material. Uh, we're gonna select uh, green, something dark green, something like so. Uh, for this color, for specular color, we're gonna select the green as well. This time, a light one. So. Uh, let's leave this part for now. Um, let's go with this one. There we go. Uh, something like so. Uh, 87, 244, 106. So we'll get shader that looks like that. And uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this. Go to maps, uh, reflection, and uh, I'm just going to select dry trace for it. So just select dry trace. And I'm just gonna click this background map so we could see how much reflection we got. And the uh, reflection is gonna be at about 10. Okay. Uh, maybe 15. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let's apply this to both of these little creatures. And uh, let's make a render again. So. Setup's okay, let's hit render. And uh, as you can see, that's what we're getting. Now, um, for this one, there's quite a few shaders you can use. Um, it's gonna go one, one more of them. So, you wouldn't be in the dark, guys. Uh, so, anyway, let's go to one more shader you could use. Uh, we've got this one. And uh, we're gonna call that shader one. And uh, for this one, we're gonna use a car paint material, uh, which just works pretty decent, uh, pretty decent. Uh, so for the first color, let's select something like dark green, something like so. And uh, for light facing color, let's select something light. Okay. Uh, now. Let's go with ten. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna make this a bit bigger so we can see. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm just gonna apply this to one of them and apply the other one for them. And uh, I just uh, gonna. Re Oops! I keep hitting the same button again. I'm just gonna re-render that so you could see the difference. And uh, as you can see, this looks much different. Uh, there's a lot you can do with these shaders, uh, they're really powerful. And uh, I'm probably going to use this car paint shader, just uh, make a few more adjustments to it. So what I'm going to do is go back to material editor, and uh, just hit the shader, scroll up. And uh, edge color, I'm just going to go with, actually let's leave that at black, let's go extra color. Uh, let's change something a bit darker green. Okay. 
the let's just reapply both of these shaders to them. Uh, now for lightning. Uh, for lightning, what I want to use go to perspective. Uh, what I'm going to do is just simply add a simple skylight. Uh, it seems to work pretty, pretty nice. Uh, let's go to C. And uh, for this, you have to use Final Gather Globe uh, or Indirect Illumination. Uh, so enable Final Gather, and uh, it's going to go with Drafts. And uh, hit render while rendering, it's going to pause the video. So. Okay, so the rendering is done, as you can see, uh, we're getting a lot more detail on the shadows and stuff. So I'm going to make a copy of this. See those little two persons here? And uh, I'm going to switch this off. And I'm uh, going to move this out of the frame. And uh, what I'm going to do now is hit Material Editor. And uh, I'm just going to render what uh, this first material we made, so we can see the difference. So let me just go back just a little bit, maybe make it a little bit better. So let's go with uh, something like 50. Let's go with zero. And this one, um, let's go maybe with 65. Oops, 65. And uh, let's go with this with 70. And I just got, what I'm gonna do is make this color just a little bit darker, okay? And uh, I'm just gonna re-render this, so I'm just gonna shift view, and uh, I'm gonna pause the video while it's rendering as well. Okay, so uh, as you can see, that's what we've got. It's gonna move this frame back in the frame, and you can see the difference between them. Uh, I think this one looks e a little bit better because it looks a bit more realistic of the colors and stuff. So yeah, this was my tutorial on uh, production shaders, and you can incorporate this everything, cars, um, anything basically. So if you like this tutorial, please write, comment, uh, and visit my website, guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any ideas for a tutorial, please. Uh, send me a message. So, see you next time.